one of the, the biggest things that you unlocked for me in that production was uh, we did a very cool thing, right? Where the ghost inhabits my body. We, I, I go to visit a Santero priest and in the Yoruba tradition, um, the, this, um, the, the, the spirit of my father comes into my body. And so I had the opportunity to play the, my father yelling at me and then morph into my own body uh, responding to that information. Uh, and so that was a, a, a huge physical, uh, for me, it was a physical challenge that I was game for and excited for. But uh, it was, um, what was it, the be not, do you remember, do you remember the, the exact wording where it was the charge, the ghost's charge? The um, ghost's charge. Taint not your soul. Taint not huh? your soul. Taint not your soul, yes. And that was the key for me that you unlocked. You said that, that that for Hamlet, it was, can I engage in the revenge of my father without tainting my soul? And every tactic from then on to the end of the play was an attempt to try to do this without tainting my soul. And I wasn't successful every night. So it was nice every night to try again and give it another shot, try a different tactic. Uh, that was huge for me and 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 i purposefully had a very sleepwalking sleepwalk like hamlet that once that scene happens he awakens and uh and then he's filled with all kinds of ideas and and uh and motivations in order to get uh done what what he needs to get done and it really is the challenge when you think of uh, revenge stories are very popular they're very popular still. I mean, probably more revenge movies get made than any other single genre. I mean, that, that is the motivating principle. The hero has had something dreadful happen to his family oh, yeah. and he's got to find, he's got to, got, to, got to take revenge. But most of them don't actually wrestle with that problem. How do I do this without becoming the monster? it is but this most foul strange and unnatural it's given out that sleeping in my orchard a serpent stung me but no you noble youth the serpent that did sting your father's life now wears his crown <gasps> oh my prophetic soul your uncle with juice of cursed ebonin in a vial in the porches of mine ear did pour the leprous distillment. <gasps> My uncle, I, that incestuous, that adulterate beast, won to his shameful lust the will of my most seeming virtuous queen. 
Thus was I, sleeping by a brother's hand of life, of crown, of queen at once dispatched, no reckoning made, but sent to my account with all my imperfections on my head. If you have nature in you, bear it not. But howsoever you pursue this act, taint not your mind, nor let your soul contrive against your mother aught. Leave her to heaven. Fare you well at once. Remember me. Remember you. While memory holds a seat in this distracted globe, hold, hold my heart. Oh, most pernicious woman. Oh, villain. Villain, smiling, damned villain, that one may smile and smile and be a villain. So, uncle, there you are. 